Okay, I think we're live. Let me see. It's Tuesday, which is kind of strange for me to be doing a, a live stream, but I want to make sure that uh, I'm coming through, first of all. We've got an announcement to make. All right, let's see if that's... Am I hearing anything on that? Yep, okay. I'm coming through, first of all. It's always a good sign. All right, well, <laughs> it's Reverend Dan Anderson. Um, it's it's been sixty two weeks um, that since we have worshipped together in our sanctuary. And uh, session met last night. We've been you know we've been talking about protocols. We've been wrestling with it. I know that. People feel that, that maybe we've made decisions lightly. I, I can assure you that all of us have been wrestling and struggling and waiting for the right time um, to make this announcement. But uh, I can make it now that we are going to re-engage. Effective June 6th, we will have one worship service at 10 a.m. So for those of you that, that like the 8.30 service in the summer, I'm sorry. We're going to have one one service um, at 10 a.m. Uh, we're going to start Sunday, June 6th at the Spring Lake Presbyterian Church. We're going to be sending out lots of emails, and I'll post uh, uh, you know, some of the things that we're setting up. But we're following the guidelines that Michigan has lifted up, and we've been trying very hard to adhere to those guidelines. We also have to respect the fact that we are a preschool, a state-licensed preschool uh, and daycare. And so there are guidelines there as well. Um, so you're going to see signs beyond the ladies' bathroom and the hallways, if you know the church, saying if you, uh, you know, during the week, uh, if you cross this, you know, uh, masks must be worn, even if you're vaccinated, because that's the school. And we want to, as adults, model, because the children, of course, are not vaccinated, and we want them to be able to, uh, to see us wearing masks. So in the area of the preschool, during the week, um, we're asking adults to be masked, vaccinated or not. But on Sunday morning, if you have been vaccinated, uh, again, following the protocols that have come from, uh, from the state of Michigan, you do not need to wear a mask. Um, and so uh, we're going to put a note because if you have not been vaccinated, state guidelines say that you should wear a mask. And, and so we're going to have that noted in the bulletin, and I will allude to it uh, in the worship service. Now, I understand human nature being what it is. Some of you are going to be like, great, we should have been there all the time. Some of you are going to be like, I'm really not ready for this, Dan. And I respect and get that we're going to continue to live stream. We're not stopping that. I think it's been a really good um, part of our mission and ministry here. But uh, we will continue to live stream and we'll con we'll keep making adjustments. I understand, like July, the first the first of July, there will be no mass restrictions. So even people who have not been vaccinated will not be asked to wear a mask. But for now, for the month of June, um, we will have noted in the bulletin, uh, and we're you know that if you've been vaccinated, you don't need to wear a mask. We're going to be singing. We're going to be passing the communion plate. We're going to have communion the first Sunday of the month. We will continue to have drive-through communion, but not that Sunday. So we will announce it. Um, it probably will be later in the month for those who, um, who have been coming through the drive-through and, and have been worshiping via live stream. We will continue to have drive-through communion. I think that's a great idea. You don't have to be a member of our church to receive the communion elements. Um, that's who we are as Presbyterians. If you have the love of Jesus Christ in your heart, that's what we're, we're asking for. But um, that's the big announcement. So to sum it up, we're back in the sanctuary beginning June 6th, Sunday, June 6th. It will be one service at 10 a.m. We're going to be singing. We're going to be passing the offering plate. Uh, because, you know, I know some people say, well, I can, you know, I've been mailing my check and that's fine. But also, you know, 
being able to put something in the plate is not just about money, it's about worship as well. And so that's important. Um, and we're going to, um, we're going to be together. That's what it's about. And I, I expect it'll be, I, oh, my watch is talking to me. I expect it will be emotional. Uh, it will be emotional for me because that's how I'm wired. So uh, we'll look forward to getting together with you soon. Sunday, June 6th, we are back in the sanctuary at the Spring Lake Presbyterian Church, 760 East Savage, at 10 a.m. We will continue to live stream for those who are not able or not comfortable or, you know, are, are cautious about bringing children in. We get it. We understand. Uh, but we're going to make people who wear masks feel comfortable. We're going to make people that don't wear masks feel comfortable. Um because we're, we're, we love you and we've missed you and we're going to adhere to the state guidelines and we are going to be the church. So I look forward to seeing you uh, Sunday, June 6th, face to face in the sanctuary at the Spring Lake Presbyterian Church. What time? 10 o'clock, 10 a.m. All right. God bless you. We'll see you guys. Be well. I'm signing off.